Good evening. It's 7 o'clock. I'm going to call the Village Nuclear Board meeting to order. Lynn, would you do the roll call, please? Lynn, is that right? Lynn? She had no audio problems. Uh, I will, I'll, I'll take the roll. Um, it'll be a little bit odd order since I don't usually do it. Mike Ganshert? Yes. Chuck Billston? Here. Tammy Newberry? Yes, I'm here. Peggy Cruz? Present. Michael Bell? Present. Lori Wirtz? Present. Roger Trotman. Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, I look for an approval of the agenda. I will make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. I would second yep. the motion. <laughs> okay. Uh, public appearances and citizens' comments. Uh, is there anyone on that would like to speak? other than the board members? If not hearing none, we'll move on to approval of the consent agenda. I would uh, make a motion to approve the uh, consent agenda. Gansert, Mike. Chuck Phillips and I'll also. second. Okay, you, you seconded, right, Chuck? Yes. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Item five, public works, public safety, uh, consideration and discussion, potential insurance claim for Hosley Drive water main break uh, slash fire hydrant repair. Um, during a mutual aid response to a fire in the town of New Glarus on May 9th, a fire hydrant and water main were damaged by a responding firefighter um, from the Monticello Fire Department. Uh, there were approximately 300,000 gallons of water lost and repairs to the fire hydrant and water main are, are um, a little less than $12,000. Uh, we did inform our insurance company of the damage and they told us that it would be a, uh, we could file a claim to recoup the costs we incurred. Uh, the insurance company would then proceed to subrogation, um, assigning responsibility and, and recouping its costs from other insured parties. Um, the village, um, in talking with other staff members, the village does not have a policy regarding um, making insurance claims that result from uh, emergency responses uh, slash mutual aid. Um, so we are just seeking the board's um, opinion on if you would like us to file the claim, uh, then we would recoup our costs, but obviously the insurance company would then proceed um, with subrogation towards those other parties. Um, again, this would just be to recoup the uh, repairs that are just under $12,000. The loss of uh, water is, isn't, uh, isn't a claimable uh, loss. Um, so either we can proceed with the insurance claim or we can elect to have the utility um, cover the repairs. The answer to Mike here, is Joe available? Uh, Joe is, on, um, is, is out, of, out of town until uh, tomorrow. He returns tomorrow. Okay, that's great. Maybe you could fill us in on the details. I'm just kind of curious how, how something like that could happen. Uh, my understanding is that while trying to ob obtain water from the fire hydrant, they closed the valve too quickly, which uh, caused the um, the pressure the pressure built up and ended up bursting uh, the water main. Um, well, I would make a motion to this is Gantrick, Mike. I would make a motion to uh, potentially. Uh, reclaim that uh, repair so you'd like it's a motion to file the insurance claim yes i'm sorry yep i'll second 
Hey, Drake, I have a, can I inter ask Peggy. you a question? Okay. Uh, okay, we have a motion and second. Any discussion? Hey, it's uh, Bert from the police department. Can I ask a question? Oh, you're not on the agenda. Yeah, sure, go ahead, Bert. Jesus Christ. Um, it may, it maybe I misunderstand this, but typically when the mutual aid is, is requested, it falls back on the agency requesting it. So if it was our fire and we were requesting mutual aid from Monticello, they would fall back onto our insurance company anyway. So an example is if we and the police go out to the county and we're going up to CC or something up in the town of Exeter and we hit a deer, we're the one that files a claim against the insurance company for the sheriff's department because we were assisting them. Likewise, if Belleville came down to assist us and hit a deer along Highway 69, they would file the claim with our insurance company, the Villages, because we're the one that requested the mutual aid. So yeah, after that, that'll be up to the, the insurance company will be the one to determine who to subrogate out to. So whether that's the New Glarus Fire Department, the the district, the district that we are a part of, the or or whatever agency, they'll they'll be the ones to determine, um, you know, where the responsibility ultimately lies. This is simply a way for the village to recoup the out-of-pocket costs it incurred in the repairs. Okay, no, that's fine. I just wanted to interject that because that's typically how it falls, and I think statutorily that's how it falls. That's what all the mutual aid statutes and PACs are for, at least speaking from the law enforcement side. Um, it usually goes back to the agency requesting the aid is the one that did it. But I agree, Drake, if the insurance company wants to fight it out, but it could ultimately come back to us, but that's up to you guys. It would come back to the New Glarus Fire District rather than the village of New Glarus. There's two different insurance agencies there. I, I see what you're saying. I don't know that it would be, so it would go, it would come back to maybe the New Glarus Fire District, right? Correct, their insurance company would go. Right. Because they're the one that requested Monticello to assist them. That That is possible, yes but at least it would be the village would the village utility would still at least receive money to get repairs and Correct. yes it ended up coming back to the new Glarus fire district's insurance which yeah i Correct. mean but but they have insurance for that and we have insurance for that and i see i think it's important i think we need to take advantage of the fact that it's insurance and yes it's unfortunately going to trail back to an, maybe another insurance company, but I would hope there wouldn't be any um, any bad will in us doing that because we're just trying to recoup our costs. Yeah, I know from the law enforcement side, it happens all the time and that's just the way it is, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any further discussion? Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Motion carries. <laughs> so, Jay, a, a question. That was, uh, we made a motion and a second and a vote for this particular incident. Do you uh, think that we should do this on an incident by incident basis and not make a motion for a to create a policy in regards to this? Um, it's not necessarily, we don't necessarily have to now that the, the board has kind of set its direction on, on filing claims in these instances. Um, we would typically at, at a staff level file these claims. This was just a special circumstance that hadn't come up before. Typically when there's property damage, we go ahead and, and file a claim when it's able. We just did not know what, what the board's stance on uh, issues such as this. So going forward now, we will, we will know what, what to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, moving on to item, item B. 
Consideration discussion WPPI Community Recharge Program. Um, to assist its member communities in their recoveries from the COVID-19 pandemic, WPPI is offering a one-time grant uh, based on uh, its member utilities revenue and total number of meters. The amount of this grant for the village comes to the village's utility comes to $2,900. Um, one of the allowable uses for this grant is, is to partner with the Chamber of Commerce to assist the local business community. Um, so village administration is recommending uh, that the board authorize staff to partner with the New Glarus Chamber of Commerce to utilize these funds in ways beneficial to the New Glarus business community. Um, there's two kind of things that we're that the village ideas the village has come up with, and we're hoping to um, work with uh, Becca and the chamber uh, to determine which one what might be the most beneficial to the business community. The first is um, to uh, give it to the chamber, and they'll use it for adverti radio advertisements, other advertising uh, measures to, to continue to um, spur business to New Glarus. And then the other that some other communities has done is to um, run a special where if you buy $50 of chamber bucks, you get uh, $75 um, until the $2,900 from the grant uh, runs out. And then those that would also perhaps spur um, customers to New Glarus uh, businesses. So uh, Becca is on the, the call today if, if you had any questions for how she might be working with us. but. Um, that's how we would sta village staff would like to proceed since the chamber we think it has the most knowledge of what would be beneficial uh, to the business community to use these this twenty nine hundred dollars hi becca thank you uh for joining us i see you're on us um would you just like to speak to a little bit about what your thoughts are uh sure sure thing i think um either of the ideas suggested by the village would be helpful. Um, and we can discuss it more, more in depth, but I think one thing to keep under consideration is who the, uh, who the target of, of this is. I, um, and again, we don't have to go into big depth here, but I feel like the chamber books um, would be very popular. I feel they would be purchased pretty quickly. I think they'd probably also be used primarily by residents which could be a good thing. It could be spurring residents to buy local and get to know their local stores and do more shopping in New Glarus, which would be definitely beneficial. Um, whereas the, the radio or other advertising, you, you're not gonna have the guarantee that that 2,900 is being spent, is coming back to the community, mm -hmm. but you're also potentially reaching a lot more people and it might help more of the business community just off the top of my head, um, I doubt that the hotels would see any of that $2,900 if we put it towards chamber books. That's just, just one example. Um, so there's a couple different things to, to keep in mind when we talk about it in the future. Um, interesting, because I was actually, like you said, leaning towards the idea of the dollars because uh, the citizens and you know, like you said, primarily probably village of New Glarus or town of New Glarus persons would purchase that and gain some benefit from it in addition to the business then getting the money directly. But I didn't think about the fact that it's unlikely that local people would do that to buy into the hotel business. So, um, Michael, you have some thoughts on that? Or yeah, I have thoughts on it. And, um, I, I'm going to go against my better, my, my business instinct, and I would have to almost recommend that we should do the chamber books route, because that is guaranteed money spent in the local business, and it's going to be for the greater good. It's going to affect more businesses in New Glarus than putting it towards advertising, which advertising is has always been, you, you throw... A, you throw as much money as you want at it and about 50% of it's going to work and you don't know what is going to work on it. So we, we can advertise on the radio, but it's not guaranteeing that people are going to be coming in. Whereas if you, you're, you know, having people buy $50 worth of chamber bucks and then they're getting another $50 on top of it, you're going to have people spending all that $100 in certain different locations. 
And that is money in businesses' pockets um, to help them get through all of this. And, you know, that's what the intent for the WPPI is, the, the, the COVID pandemic um, grant. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's just, I almost feel like it's a greater good thing to go that route, um, even though it's really probably not going to help me as my business very much at all. Any, any further comments? Uh, we would need a motion on this item. Uh, sure, I will make a motion that we go ahead and work with the Chamber of Commerce to, I, I understand that you would then look into and discuss uh, the best way to distribute uh, the money from WPPI. I would second the motion. This is Lori. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, any further business? Hearing none, we need, do you want a motion to adjourn? We are adjourned. <laughs>